Well, hey everybody, welcome back. Okay, as promised, now if you watched last weekend's episode, I said that we were gonna travel to a mine that was way on the outer edge of the district that we just got done exploring over the last three weeks. And here we are. Now, I was planning on giving you guys some really, really super cool drone shots of this area because just look at, look at this topography. It's just absolutely fantastic. Unfortunately, there's a big storm right now uh, blowing its way into the Sierra Nevadas and some of that's looping down to the south and we're getting high winds and stuff like that through this area today and I'm too afraid to put my expensive drones up in the air and risk a flyaway. Otherwise I would have given you a, just a beautiful overview of this site but uh, we'll just have to do it a little, a little bit different way this weekend. Um, just, it, it, it's truly magnificent around here. But the mine that I'm going after is right down here in the bottom. We've got, there's no other way to get to it but to hike into the bottom of this wash. Now last weekend, I was telling you about a, a, a steep uh, vertical shaft that's up here too. I reconned that this morning and indeed I, I put a rock down in there and boy oh boy that thing just kept going and going. It sounded like it went down vertical and then it went into an incline and just kept bouncing, bouncing, bouncing until I couldn't even hear it anymore. Definitely nothing that we can get into <laughs> doing solo. Heck, even if you had people with you, it would be a pretty difficult thing to try to get into that one. But that's not the priority. Today's mission is to get down here into the bottom. Well, we're gonna start with some smaller ones in the side of the cliff over here. Then we'll get down into the bottom and see if this thing is an adit or an incline shaft. I have a feeling that it's an incline shaft and I'm gonna point out the clues and the reasonings why. All right, guys, let's get started. So as I stood on top of this big steep hill and looked down into the bottom down there, you can see that there's a concrete pad, a big one and a small one. Okay, that tells me that that's either a setup for where there was a compressor down in there or some kind of a winch so that they, or a hoist, I should say, so that they could hoist the or the skip car up and out of either a vertical shaft or an incline shaft. Or it could have been used for horizontal assist pulling or heavy, heavy ore carts out of a uh, horizontal haulage at it. So you never know. But if you look up higher on the side of the hill up there, you can see that there's some workings. Uh, they went after a few veins higher up. Now, I don't know if I'll be able to get to those. Maybe if, I don't know, I gotta figure out a strategy on how to work that. So what we're gonna do here is, first of all, I wanna just kind of pan around. Is this not the coolest area to be exploring mines? Look at the beauty of this part of Arizona. Let me pan off this direction since we can't do any drones today. Yeah, the big drone that I've got is, is many thousands of dollars and to get a flyaway on something like that would be just absolutely horrible. I don't wanna risk it. So we're just gonna to have to bounce back into old school, the old school method of looking around. All right, just a gorgeous day. Yeah, no clouds or anything like that, but the wind from that big storm is starting to work its way into this part of Arizona. But by the time you guys watch this, that'll be many weeks from, from uh, my reality. That storm will be long gone <laughs> and we'll probably be into late March by the time you guys see this. So there's a trail over here and I'm guessing that this trail will take us over to where we need to go. So why don't we do this? We're gonna put this thing in, uh, in speedy, speedy chipmunk mode. I'll take you with me as we work our way to those holes on the side of the hill over there. All right, I'll see you over there. Oh, <laughs> boy, uh, 
I guess I'm not as sure-footed as the animals that uh, made this trail. I just fell on my butt. Ow. Good thing there wasn't a cactus there. All right, let's keep going. And stop. Oof. <sighs> oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, look it. Okay, so there's Bob off in the distance. And uh, look at this, guys. Look right down there. Ta da! Two big openings down in the bottom. They even had a road up here at one point. Isn't that interesting? Huh. All right, now we need to try to figure out a way to how to get down there. There's also an adit. See that other road going back up? There's a small hole over there too. So yeah, we've got some things to point the camera at, but the question is how do we get down to these? I think if we go down this way, all right, let's keep going here. Ouch, I just slipped again. Darn it. Yeah, it really sucks having. Okay, gotta fix my cameras. Something broke. Uh, I'll be back, guys. Well, there we go. <laughs> yeah, it's been a long time since I uh, dropped my camera rig, but I tell you what, when it comes to either uh, slipping and falling off a cliff so that you can get a handhold or drop in your rig. I choose to drop my rig first and that's what had happened up here. Yeah, that rock went right out from underneath my foot and I had to use both hands to grab on and and it went for a tumble. Got to break out the super glue tonight. Couple, broke a couple plastic parts. Darn it all anyways. All right, so we got a prospect right here. Let's start exploring these on the cliff side and then slowly continue working our way down towards uh, the main haulage at it. Oh. Boy, that was a close call. Goodness. I haven't had a slip like that in a long time, but it only takes one. All right, that doesn't go anywhere. Look at that blue rock down there. More Crisca Cola. All right, turning around here. Let's take a look at uh, these workings here. This is the other one we saw from when we were standing over there by Bob. What do we got going on here? Anything. I can tell the rock hounds were in here. Does it go up? Nope. It just goes there and stops. Yeah, they found a vein. They certainly did. And they started going into it. Anything hiding over here? Here we've got something interesting. What's this? Ah. Well, we got something here, don't we? Yep. Ooh, stinky bats. Pew. Little stinky bats. Look at all the, look at the stalls holding up the back. And let's look around in here. All right, there's our roost with a big pile of guano up there. 
no sense in going up there it doesn't go anywhere off to the left nothing off to the right past the stall kind of goes around the corner to more lots of guano oh yeah lots of bats hanging out in here but that's it another prospect with a bunch of gobbing here off to the left that's it guys all right we're not done yet no we got more down here but here's a good opportunity to show you the blue crisca cola they were pulling out of there see it all down here on the ground that's a nice piece and the reason it's still sitting here is it's uh too darn hard to take out of here but this piece isn't look at this one somebody said somebody set it here just for me yeah isn't that pretty yeah we'll leave it there for the next person to enjoy okay we have something down this way you know it's kind of fun to every once in a while shoot an episode episode old school style which is what we're doing right now Oh, this is a big opening here. Yeah, we got a nice at it. What is going to be in this one? Oh yeah. They got a they got into a pocket in here, didn't they? This room is about 25 feet in diameter. Does it go up any Nope, stops up there with a bunch of uh bat guano piles, another bat guano pile. But that's it. Nothing. All right. Took a lot of work to carve all that out. Okay. Now, down there is the prize. <laughs> the question is, is how in the heck am I going to get down there without killing myself or dropping the camera again? Oh boy. Can I go this way? Boy, if there was ever a day where I'm gonna do something bad and twist an ankle, today's the day. Look at the grade here. Well, there's only one way to do this. I just have to go down and kind of ski, do a little bit of skiing. Holy mackerel. Uh. Whoa. Slow down there, mister. <laughs> Yikes. What did this do? Something used to be going on right here, but they didn't develop it. Okay, turn it around. Oh, we're getting closer. Uh-huh. Now, where do I go from here? This is turning out to be more of an adventure than I thought it would be. Yikes. All right, well. Let's try not to bust a sprained an ankle or do something dumb today. I think if we go out this way. Oh, that's slippery. All that galena. Let's look over here. What do we got? Oh yeah, I got two of them over here hiding. Two. But I can't get over there. There's a cliff. Um, okay. I gotta set the camera down. foothold here oh boy hey you guys want an adventure you're getting one today yeah you sure are okay here we go what do we have in here any mountain lions 
Oh, that one goes in. Let's get my headlight on here. Okay. What's up in here? Anything, anything. Oh, this one goes a ways. Boy, is that just, that stinks. Something terrible. That guano. Look at all of it coming down. They had an ore chute here at one time. And they either took it apart or it failed. And now it's a guano chute. Goes off that way and stops. All right, turn it around again. That's as far as that one goes. Let's look at this other one. At least we're hitting all of them today, huh? What's this one gonna do? Here, kitty, 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 kitty. I probably shouldn't do that. I'm just uh, tempting fate, ain't I? Uh, let's look around in here. We got limonite. Lots of calcite coming through from the groundwater. And the mine goes up that way. Oh, if a big old big cat was using one of these, you'd smell it. Remember that mine I went into last winter? Where it smelt like fre fresh uh, cat, cat scat? Yeah. Now, there was definitely a cat in that one. If I remember right, the, uh, the scat on the ground we found was pretty darn fresh too. Oh, bunch of bunches of bats, bunches. Look at them all. <laughs> Hi guys. Yeah, you probably don't run into humans very often. All right, let's look around in here. Uh, yeah, bats flying all over the place. Oh, uh, there's a box up there, cardboard box. Not sure what it could have been used for. The bats are kind of going up. There's a, it, it, it stops up there. There's a small raise, and that's why they're all pooling up there. They're like, we don't know what the heck this thing is. It looks like a big old UFO coming at us. We're staying over there. And there was a raise right here, which goes up and stops again to another bat roost. All right, let's get out of here. We'll leave those bats alone. No sense in stirring them up any more than we have to. Well, that one just about hit me in the forehead. <laughs> okay. Now oh, we're having all kinds of fun, aren't we? Heck yeah. That's because we're almost to our objective, which is right down there. And how do I get there safely? Huh? Hmm. I think we should go this direction. Yahoo! Oh, I'm glad my mother didn't see me do that. <laughs> okay, here we are. We're almost there, guys. So we've got a bucket from some rock hounds that's filled with uh, Crisca Cola. And here's those concrete pylons I showed you from the top. One there, one there. Yeah, I'll bet that was a hoist. That was the base for some kind of a hoist because over here we've got ourselves an incline shaft. All right, here we go. This is where the drum roll should start. Old rubber legs hiked all the way down the side of the mountain today so that we could find what? An incline shaft. Yep. An incline shaft. And then there's a add it over here. I wonder if that goes anywhere. Well, let's look. And the answer is no. Just goes there and stop. Okay, turn it around. Let's not fall into the incline shaft. Okay. I 
you see here they had rail coming out of it and there it is and it looks plugged and the reason for that is all the rainwater look at how much rain look at everything that comes down these washes goes right into the bottom of this thing and pools into a giant puddle but I'm still gonna go down here and look at it closer we come this far let's give it a real good look Wow you know there's just uh, no way I wonder how I could do this where you guys could see me if I set the camera like that without touching it and I kind of bent the lens a little bit like so there okay you can see me go down here <clears throat> it'll offer some perspective let's see what's down here anything Sleeve stack. That's right. This is where all the sleeve stack live. Does it do anything or go anywhere? No. Nope. Totally chalked off with sediment. We ain't going anymore. Big old log down here that they were probably using for a stall. I wonder how deep this was. Hmm. Back in the day. I couldn't find any information on this mine. This one is a complete mystery. I am seeing uh, round nails, no square nails, so we're somewhere past 1900. All right, grab the camera and let's get out of here. because we've got another one to look at right up there, but not until I take a water break. All right, guys, I'll be back. There we go, much better. Let's walk out here on the waste rock pile, see how big it is. That'll give us an idea of how big the mine was. Look at that view out there, isn't that gorgeous? Just an awesome part of Arizona. Not too big. No, not too big. I'm gonna say very low production mine. No more than 300 feet deep on that incline. All right, we gotta take this other road over here because that leads to another edit that we saw when we were up high on the cliff. Let's go look at it. All right, let's speed things up. Here we go. And stop. All right. So what was it? Just a prospect? Ah, oh, yes. Walked all the way over here for nothing. That's all it was. Just a little prospect. All right, let's turn back around. Look at what we just got done exploring there. We went into each and every one of those holes as we worked our way down the side of that big cliff. Okay, so I, in order to get out of here, I'm not going back that way again, too dangerous. I'm gonna go up this direction. So if I see something neat along the way, guys, you know me, I'll be sure to show it to you. Okay, there we are, back to Bob, safe and sound. Yeah, it was much better coming up this other direction. A heck of a lot safer than going back up the direction that I came. But hey, we had to do that, otherwise we would have never been able to poke into all of those adits on the side of that cliff over there. So uh, was it worth the risk? Eh, every now and then those kinds of things happen. So uh, today, for you guys, today is March 30th. So as you guys are watching this, 
I am uh, on the road in my big RV headed back to Nevada because I need to check in at my new location on April 1st and then after that meet up with Laura. So yeah, finally, finally get to meet back up with Laura and start exploring mines for the whole entire month of April and all the way into the summertime. Isn't that going to be fun? I'm looking forward to it because we got a lot of really cool places for you. But, so uh, I need to get up there, get all settled in, get my stuff all spread out, okay? So we've got uh, two, uh, probably one or maybe two more Arizona mines coming in the next two Saturdays, okay? That'll give me time to get all set up up in, up in Nevada and, uh, and, uh, and get out there with Laura and start documenting sites. So, so for you guys, we've got uh, one or two more Arizona locations and then we're gonna bounce into back into Nevada with Laura, okay? All right, guys, well, you know, I, I didn't know how this one was gonna play out today. I was hoping that it was gonna be something really, really super cool. Remember last weekend I said on this one, we're just rolling the dice. I have no idea what it's gonna, what it's gonna be. It didn't quite turn out to be the finale that I was hoping for, regardless of how remote it, it really is. But it was still interesting, nevertheless. All right, guys, well, I appreciate you coming along with me for another fun adventure, and I'll see y'all again next Saturday. Okay, take care, everybody. Bye-bye.